so that was a little jam I made up and I used three of the pedals on here. I used the MXR Phase 95 on the Script Phase 90 kind of thing. Uh, I used the EP Boost for the solo towards the end. And then at the very end, I put on the Ibanez Analog Delay. And I'm using the delay more as a noise maker, super effect, as opposed to an ambient, just a little slap effect. Uh, they're all running into the front, so the delay is going to be a little more dirty sounding. But for what I'm doing, that works for me. You know, I'm, get, I'm just getting more of a... And that's what I want. Uh, uh, depending on the band I'm playing or the song I'm using, I'll, I'll also set it another way. If I want to set it the other way, I turn the rate down, the level down, and just change the delay time a bit too, I just so I just get one repeat. <laughs> Or without it. Uh, the EP booster, the way I have it set, it's going into the front of the amp just to slam the front end. So it's not really a solo boost, it's making it a little bit dirtier and thicker. And with it on. Off. And what I didn't use earlier in that clip was the Nobles ODR-1. Uh, I, again, I have it set just to make it a little more hairy. Changes the tone just a bit. <laughs> And then with it on, Phase shift of the way, did kind of the standard way, just, just a very slight sweep, more for the mid filter. Okay. Then of course, a uh, Boss TU3 tuner to mute when I want to. So you get it, so there you go. I know some people were asking. Um, I do want I, the bigger board, if I really want to go the, do the four cable method, then I'll do delay in that boost into the effects loop of the amp. And I am using my MGL100 Jimmy Burkhard amp here uh, for all the tones. I have it set quieter since I'm here in my living room. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Keep rocking.